Scheduling automates the task of running and distributing reports. This removes the need of having a person perform repetitive and potentially time intensive tasks. In this video, you will see how to schedule a report, how to set the report format, how to set the delivery method, and how to set prompt values used by a report. This is the report that I'm going to use for my scheduling. Before attempting to set up a schedule, I have to ensure I have the rights to do that. I'm going to copy this report from the samples folder to my content. I'm just gonna run the report to have a look at it. And the thing that I want to note here is that there is a prompt for hospital name. I'll take that into account when I schedule my report. To schedule the report, I start by clicking the action menu. In the scheduling pane, I have a number of things that I can set. I can set the type. Will it run daily, weekly, monthly? How often I want it to repeat within the selected time frame? What days in the case on weekly that I want it to run? And this is multi-select. If I selected monthly, I have days of the week I can select or day of the month. And I can also set the time interval. Do I want it to run on the hour or with some other frequency? I can define when I want the schedule to start and as well when it should end. On the options tab, I can define the format that the report will be delivered in. I can also define how I want the report to be delivered. I can set it up to save as a report or as a report view. And with a report view, that's a copy of the report with parameters that are set specific to that copy. I can have it delivered by email or sent to a, a mobile device, or I can set it to print. And printing would have to be defined by the administrator before you could select that as an option. I can also define prompts that I want to be delivered to the report. So for example, if you remember I had hospital name in the report, I could pick a copy and say that I want it just for the Clements Health Center and cardiology and click OK. I just want to note here that a report can only have one schedule defined. If I wanted to schedule a report for each hospital, I would make copies of the report and include the hospital name and schedule each copy for the specific hospital. After I've defined a schedule, I can toggle it on or off. Toggling it off lets me keep all the settings I have and it just stops the report from running. This completes the video on how to schedule a report. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.